and her new album and hopefully a way that we can get to see her perform live. She is an incredible singer and this album really reflects the best and the cheekiest of the music from the 40s and 50s. So prepare yourselves for a bit of musical indulgence later. Between now and then, because we're going to meet Judith after seven, we're off to the Three Counties Showground to look ahead to what they've got on over Christmas. <laughs> well, it's, you know, a few months today, isn't it? Yeah. Kate Justice. I almost don't want to say it, but I'll tell you, it's exactly five months today until Christmas Day. So we're going to get very, very, very slightly in the Christmas spirit. Very, very tiny bit. Is it getting better? Or do you feel the same? Will it make it easier on you now? You got some to blame you yeah, say one love one life when it's one need in the night one love we get to share it leaves you baby if you don't care
Oh, come on, who wants to go to a U2 concert now? Yes? Me too! I am so happy to play that song for you tonight here at BBC Hereford and Worcester. It's gorgeous, isn't it? In fact, that got me talking uh, with producer Sophie about the whole concert thing. Uh, you know, you you just want to hold your phone torch up in the air. <laughs> it just doesn't it doesn't have the same meaning anymore, does it? When you hold the phone torch up, it's the, you, you've got to have a Zippo. You know, a lighter, not just not just a big disposable either. No, that won't do. Uh, anyway, I was just telling Sophie that my mum and dad went to see Queen. They saw Queen with Freddie Mercury. Um, and there may be someone listening who also did. What a thing to do. What a thing. And I wonder if at the time that you were, you know, deciding to go, booking it, getting excited, saving up, that sort of thing, if you knew what a moment of history that would end up being. God, I, I feel quite emotional just talking about that. And that's what, I mean, that's what life is, isn't it? It's a series of moments that you just cherish and look back on but who knew that that would be such a short window of opportunity anyway my mum and dad went to see Queen with Freddie Mercury and they held their lighters up and in fact my dad still his, his eyes well up when he talks about that now you know decades and decades on and I've, I've looked it up actually when did holding up lighters at concerts become a thing because uh, I went to see the Spice Girls at the Rico Stadium in Coventry uh, <clears throat> about five years ago. Uh, and we held up our phones <laughs> with a torch and it felt quite good. In fact, what they actually did on the gate was they gave us all these luminous wristbands uh, and then at one point in the show they turned them all on and turned the lights off. So we didn't need, we didn't need phones, we didn't need lighters. It's arguably much better for the environment and um, safer. But anyway, I looked it up. When did it become a thing? And it was in the 60s or 70s, the late 1960s or early 70s, which is exactly when my parents would have gone to see Queen. What an experience. What a story as well. Things have definitely changed, but that song from U2, the show opener tonight, put me right in the mood for it. I won't be home to help you Decorate the Christmas tree Well, I won't be home to help you Decorate the Christmas tree I'll be thinking about you Yes, I know you look lovely Standing beneath the mistletoe I could hold you and kiss you Tell you why I love you so I love to spend this Christmas Setting by the farm with you Yes, I love to spend this Christmas Setting by the farm with you Bringing eggnog with fruitcake Just like we used to do Yes, I won't be with you on that happy holiday. I can wish you a Merry Christmas in an old and fashioned way. It's actually that song, isn't it? Olivia Dean and Leon Bridges. Those two names, they are who's put that song together. It's called The Hardest Part. In a minute, we're going to play the song that for some bizarre reason all the kids seem to like. You know, when I was six or seven, it was Hey Mickey. Hey Mickey, you're so fine. You know the one, right? When I was, I think, yeah, six, six or seven, that was the song to have at a party. It's not as simple 
in 1981 uh, just to have any old song. You had to actually physically go to the record shop to buy the record and then bring it back and put it on the record player. So if you actually had that song, you were super cool. These days, you can, you know, get it up wherever. Um, goodness. Uh, but you, know, you can get the song up wherever you are and whenever you want. So if you're playing um, the next song I'm about to play, in the house, you are the coolest among six and seven-year-olds, so I'm told. It's an old, oldish song from a couple of summers ago. I've sort of gone around the houses a little bit with that story. I'm going to stop now for various reasons. Uh, Dance Monkey from Tones and I up next. Here we go. The greatest names in women's football are back playing on the world's biggest stage. The European champions get us underway in Brisbane. What drama. Stanway from the spot again and this time she scores. The Women's World Cup. It's a deep cross. And it's in. Ali Van scored with a header. England versus Denmark. England's up and underway. Friday morning at 9.30. Watch on iPlayer. Listen on BBC Sounds.